Welcome to the Continental Tire Las Vegas Classic. It's game one of a doubleheader here tonight. We've got the Wyoming Cowboys out of the Mountain West against the Paul Blue Demons of the Big East right here on FS1 from the Orleans Arena at the Orleans Casino. Garrett Jr. all the way to the hoop. Can't finish in the rebound by Alan Herndon. Looking up ahead to Adams and running the lane is Jordan Naughton. Seven to start this ball game. But guess what? It's still tied at two. No longer. It's now 4 2. Recruiting the key if you look to the Blue Demons' future. Corner three, no good. The rebound into the hands of Jordan Naughton for the dunk. That was tipped by Alan Herndon right to Jordan Naughton. Shots will kill you. McCallum, a step back jumper, got it. Tradarius McCallum, a junior. McCallum for three, got it. Trey Darius McCallum, if he's going well, that's a good sign for DePaul. Something to do with Las Vegas, the bright lights, Christmas time. Nice little finish by Devin Gage, the freshman from Chicago. A turnover here, here comes Currington. Good bounce pass for Gage, up and under, pretty finish. Pace and pressure over the course of the game. Derek Woods pull-up jumper is good. That's what he does. He can score a lot of confidence. Poor Wyoming with two fouls and 10 minutes to go here in this first half. Eli Kane hasn't gotten going yet. That's a two, his first two of the night. A 17-3 run. Dalton to the hoop, off the glass, got it, and the foul for Dalton. Lieberman. McManaman for three. That's the first three of the game for Wyoming. And sometimes you just need to see it go through the net. McManaman. Lieberman gets inside, puts it off the glass and in. Yeah, smart basketball, good possession. Wyoming starting to find its offensive rhythm. Six foot eight, but comfortable leading the break. Garrett Jr. all the way to the hoop, puts it in. If you can't get all the way to the rim. McManaman for three. That's his second three. He's got both threes in the game for Wyoming. And with that, he ties this game up in this first half. DePaul leading Wyoming, 26-24. Cyrus, the fadeaway jumper. Oh, no. Four seconds, three seconds. It's Gage putting it up, and he can't get it to go. So a first half that wasn't exactly, as you said, textbook. Practiced. They've never been together. You don't know if you see another air ball. Fortuitous, though. We get a traffic ticket. You know, we spill coffee on ourselves. It's because we're in a hurry or a rush. Kane. It's the field goal. Six-point lead. McManaman forcing it. The rebound by Herndon. He puts it up and in. So Allen Herndon with his first field goal of the night. And has it stripped by Hanel. Up ahead. Hanel with the finger roll. He can't get it to go. Dalton with the rebound. Gorski up ahead for Herndon all along with the dunk. Putting some touches in the ball. Post feed. Herndon, little running hook shot, got it to go, and that is Wyoming's first lead since 6-4. Well, that was well devised out of the timeout. Levi Cook is in number 44 for DePaul. There's some quick hot potato ball yeah. movement, and it's amazing. Garrett dials one up. And, uh... Dalton top of the key against Hanel. Mm, tough shot. Off the bounce. Awkward, but it went. Alvin Adams. Phoenix Suns. Gorski able to finish. A guy who's known for a shot going to the hoop and puts Wyoming up by two, seven minutes into the second half. And then nearly shuffled the pivot foot. Now he puts up the three, got it. Well, Herndon drove the ball, and then what did he do? He kicked it to start to find a way to hit on all cylinders or establish some rhythm. Or hit one cylinder. Gorski all alone. Yeah, we'll settle for the one cylinder. <laughs> Garrett Jr. Able to finish. We're going to stop here. 
and make it a potential 10-point game. Gorski for three, does just that. Five-point swing. And that's nothing new for DePaul. Eli King with a spin, no. The rebound for Justin James. Here comes Wyoming. Gorski for three again, got it again. 13-point lead. And Gorski beginning to light it up. And uh, with those anemic numbers. Now two of 15. Justin James on the run out to the hoop. And James puts it in. And shots from the deep corner often if missed. For James, he's just two of 12. McCallum, who got off that good start, able to put it in. McCallum. Gets it back, good pump fake, pulls up for three, had good rotation, knocks it down. Yeah, that little shot fake, uh, just enough to put McCallum in the popcorn popper. Down to that. eight. James goes baseline, off the glass, good adjustment in the air. Well, that's had some dribble handoff action, raised the defense. Harrison Dox knocks down the three. Didn't have the numbers, bring it out. That's using good judgment. McCallum for three, knocks it down, makes it a 10-point game with 2.35 to go. Shot clock down to nine. James for Herndon. Good look and a good finish. Precise pass in traffic. Backdoor cut for James. Good look by Dalton, good cut by Justin James. And with the lead, it's wise to... Rebound comes raise. out to Justin James. And they can just about dribble it out if they want. Instead, the alley-oop. And Hayden Dalton, the recipient. Now James, offensively, with good judgments, decision. It was a 24 to five run here in the second half for Wyoming that busts this game open. And it's seven in a row for the Cowboys of Wyoming as they move to 10 and two on the season while DePaul falls to seven and five.